everyone it's the start of a new day I've already cut some more boards uh, this is one of the pieces I just recently cut today this is one of those strange uh, cuts that has to be done it has uh, both the cross cut and the miter cut in the same uh, area and that's to make sure it fits on uh, inside one of the posts in the corners so now that I have uh, cut this, you can see I have moved my uh, miter saw away from the um, workbench uh, temporarily. Uh, just because uh, we got to have some room for the next step, which is to sand this down. Now I've already mentioned in the other video I had another tool coming. You haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's my sander from Nikita. Uh, this is a five inch. This is a five inch um, random orbital sander. Um, and I do have three different grits. I'm going to get my thing back up here. So I have three different grits. I have 120 grit, 180 grit, and 220 grit. Now the idea is to step down um, each time that, um, we sand this down to the next uh, grit. Um, so what we're trying to do is try to clear out any imperfections, try to make this as smooth as possible. And uh, I'm going to reach back there to my dust bag, which fell behind everything. And I did test this out on a test board, as you saw in the other video, and it worked out very well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put the, uh, first of all, we're going to put the dust bag in there. And that's another thing I need to invest in a shop back. And um, so I have uh, sand net uh, style uh, sanders. Uh, these I uh, got um, as a Craftsman brand from Lowe's. So in this now usually with um, sanders you don't uh, you need to, you would need to line up with the holes inside, but this one you really don't need to. Just uh, make sure it fits inside the circle, and this is a hook and loop. So secure right there. All right, and before I do anything here, uh, there is going to be some fine dust particles, so I'm going to need a mask, but uh, not the face mask that you see everywhere. Those are not going to do. You're going to need a dust mask. So this is designed to stop uh, any dust particles that may be flying around while I'm sanding. And this one does come with earplugs, and I will need that because the sander is pretty loud, and we're going to be using that for quite a while. So I'm going to put the dust mask on. If I can put it on the correct way. I just got to make sure it has a good seal. Okay, now I'm going to plug this in. So like I said, what we're doing is that we're trying to sand down all the imperfections. Um, in this case, where um, this is, um, now 120 is considered fine grit, but it's just um, enough to uh, sand down much of the board. Um, but yeah, you want to start uh, with boards like these, you want to start at a medium grit and then work your way to finer grits. So, so we got uh, our board set down here. I'm going to move um, my wire so it doesn't get caught up in anything. All right, and make sure that it takes up the speed before you do anything with it. And I'm going to start down here and work my way up. And uh, let me see, I'm actually going to move my wires around just so that. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do. I rearrange everything. Okay. All right, we're ready to go. Uh, let me get uh, my earplugs first before I turn it on. Very important. All right, all good to go, and we're ready. Oh yeah, <laughs> another thing I forgot. 
power. Uh, let me hold on to it just in case I have it in the on position. Okay. All right. Now we're ready. Really? I'm out of second. Very important. Make sure your power strip is plugged in. All right. Now we can get started. All right, I <clears throat> check for the smoothness. Pretty smooth so far. this over. I'm going to get my pegs to hold it down. Clean up some of that. Let's check that board. Okay, now before I go on to, well, first off, I think I do this side. Yeah, I want to. I want to get into the quarters. Um, because uh, those tend to be quite a bit more rough. But I'm going to finish up with that final side first. We need to arrange some stuff here. All right. All right holding that down. Here we go. Chuck this board real quick. Yeah, I think this uh, this side of the board I'm gonna have one more pass at it. Side. I'm going to work on the other boards and then we're going to move uh, down to the 180 grit. I'm going to give a quick uh, before and after comparison here. Uh, here's uh, the board before I sand it. You see there's some imperfections there. It got a bit of yellowing from the uh, pressure treatment process. So all that needs to be cleared out. 
So um, that's pretty much uh, what this process is going to do. So now I'm going to sand this down to 120 grits and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, now here it is after 120 grit. Now there is still some imperfections, but we can take care of that on the higher grits. But we're just focusing on getting this thing smooth first. So uh, now that we got those uh, boards, now we're gonna move over to the 180 grit. All right, here we go. We are now at 180 grit. So this will be a finer cut. All right, here it is after 180 grit. Again, we're getting those imperfections out. It's getting a lot smoother now. We have one more grit to use on this one. It's a 220 grit. But first, I gotta work on the other board, so we'll come back to this one. Okay, uh, I skipped forward a little bit. There was a lot of boards for me to work with today. So I'm just uh, past all that, um, so you don't have to waste your time. Uh, now we are down to the last uh, grit, uh, 220 grit. There you go, easy for you to read. Now this will give it the final finish before we go to the stain. I'll make sure that this thing's in there good. All right, so like I said, this will give it that last bit of finish. it should be perfectly smooth. Right, off we go. All right. So, here's what, uh, watch where I'm going, this is the big board here. So this is 220 grit, and nice and smooth, it got us that last bit of finish. So the next thing for this will be the stain, but I gotta work on the other boards first, so we'll do that and then we'll go to the stain. So all the boards that I have uh, cut today and sanded um, are now ready for stain and seal. They've all been sanded down to a 220 grit. So we got ourselves a smooth finish and now we are ready. Now, it is important that all the pieces have no dust on it. Don't want to get uh, uh, ruin that finish when you put the stain on. So the stain I got is um, Valspar brand and it is uh, semi-transparent and it will give this a red wood color. Now, one important thing is that uh, you use a foam brush. This will ensure that there's going to be no streaking on here. So just have to get some smooth strokes. Just gotta make sure I got this one. All right, and put this down in one direction. And we're going to keep going until it covers the whole board. And we'll worry about the other sides uh, in just a little bit. We've got to make sure that we get all this done first. I want to wait till that dries before we move on to the, any of the other sides. And again, if you see any uh, Anything that's uh, like uh, 
like is there any puddling uh, make sure you go back to that and just uh, stroke it down the board All right, so we got um, these half um, done. So <laughs> that was weird for me to say. Uh, so for those three boards, the top half is done. I had to flip them over and um, do the other side. I have to wait for them to dry first, but at least uh, now you see that um, that's pretty much uh, what we're going for. It's a little lighter shade than the uh, test. Um, than the test boards I showed in the other video, but uh, that's, this is pretty much what we're aiming for. So this is a good shade of redwood. So I'm gonna finish the rest of these and um, I'll probably um, work on the other boards before I start uh, putting them on that deck. So uh, until then, um, I'll see you guys later. This is a Valspar semi-transparent and it will give it a redwood color. And it's also important that you not record while there's a train coming. <laughs>